Hello, so here we are in grade five, and we're going to be talking about module two, lesson two today. Our objective for today's lesson is to interpret a fraction as division by writing remainders as fractions. One of our key questions for today is, can we write division equations to include remainders, and how? Suppose that four friends want to share five brownies equally. Does each friend get more or less than one brownie? We should ponder that question. In this question, each friend would get more than one brownie. We have enough brownies for each to get one, and then you would split the last brownie. What division expression can we write that would represent four friends sharing five brownies equally? Well, we have five brownies. We have four friends, so that would be five divided by four gives us five fourths. Now, how do we know that this equation is five divided by four and not four divided by five? Well, we have to always think about what is the whole amount that we are dividing. In this case, we are dividing five brownies divided by four people. So it has to be a five divided by four. So as we've done in lesson one, we can use whiteboards and sticky notes, or we can just draw out our whole numbers. So today, if you have sticky notes available, you can use those or we can just draw it out using our whiteboard and expo. Let's draw out how to share five brownies with four friends. I want you to take some time on your whiteboard to do this. We have five brownies and we want to share them equally between our four friends. This is one way that a student divided the brownies out. How did this person divide the brownies? Well, if you know that each person is at least going to get one brownie, we can give everybody one whole brownie and then divide the last one into fourths. So this would be one and then one fourth that each person got. We can write how many brownies each friend gets as a mixed number, one and one fourth. This is a mixed number. Now what division equation can we write to represent this way to share the brownies? Well, it would still be the same division statement that we had at the beginning. Five divided by four equals one and one fourth. Let's look at another way to divide the brownies. This person gave each friend one fourth of every brownie. We knew there were five brownies. We knew there were five brownies, so each person got five pieces and they were each a fourth of a brownie. Let's think about the division equation we can write to represent this way to share the brownies. This would be five divided by four, five brownies divided by four people. And that gives us five fourths. In the two ways that we just solved this, we got two seemingly different answers. The first one being one and one fourth. The second one being five fourths. Is five fourths equal to one and one fourth? And how do we know that? Well, from previous grade levels, maybe a previous lesson, five-fourths is the same as one and one-fourth. Five-fourths is enough to make four-fourths and one-fourth. Four-fourths is equivalent to a whole, so that would be one plus one-fourth, which means that five-fourths and one and one-fourth are 
equal or equivalent. Now let's show how five brownies can be shared equally among four friends by using vertical form. In vertical form, I want us to remember that our dividend is inside the vertical form, and then what we are dividing by is outside. So we have five divided by four. How many whole brownies can each person get if five brownies are split among four people? That would be one full brownie. And then if I subtract out those full brownies, I would get one brownie left. So we have four brownies distributed. If one brownie is given to each of the four friends, and we would have that one brownie left. How many brownies are left to share? We would have one brownie left to share, this one right here. The question now is, how can one brownie be shared between four friends? That would give us each friend getting one fourth of a brownie. If I show one brownie, divided into four parts, each friend would get one-fourth of a brownie. Like so. In our vertical algorithm, we are showing one-fourth as the remainder. But it really isn't the remainder because we divided one into that four, those four groups. So we divided it all evenly. This slide gives it in a little bit simpler form. So we know that five divided by four is one and one fourth, like in the previous slide. But how do we get one fourth from the vertical form work? Before today, what would you have said to the quotient of five divided by four based on the vertical form work? 5 divided by 4 now this would be 1 remainder 1 in our model and our work in vertical form we see that we can share 5 brownies among 4 friends by giving each friend 1 brownie because we are sharing brownies and not an object like a book, we can share the remaining one brownie equally among the four friends. How can we share the remaining brownie? How much more brownie does each friend get from this remaining brownie? Well, each friend we know got one brownie. We have one left over split between the four friends. That would give us a full quotient of one and one fourth. Now let's do some of this work together in our math books. On page 15, we see that Adesh is training for a 22 mile relay race. He will run the race on a four person team. Each team member runs the same number of miles. How many miles will each team member run? Let's think about what is the whole amount being run. We have 22 miles, it tells us, and it tells us that he is on a four person team. So the 22 miles is split between four people. This would be a division sentence of 22 divided by four. What are some division strategies that we can use to solve this? Well, we can draw 22 holes and split them evenly divided by four. Or in this one, maybe we can use the vertical form to help us understand this. So we have 22 divided by four. We would know that if four people each run five miles, that would be 20 miles and we're left with two miles. Two miles divided by four people. This might be a little bit easier to model. 
if I have, and I'm going to represent these miles by drawing boxes. If I have two miles split between four people, I need to split each mile in half, and each person got half of a mile. Now, if we think about our remainder in this problem, we would have two people divided, or two miles divided by four, the four people, which is two fourths, which is also equivalent to one half, which means that each person in the relay race would run five and one half miles. If I think about this in my tape diagram, I could show that in each group, which represents a person, five and one half miles would be run by each person. If I add this up again, we would do five times four, which gives us a 20 miles. And then we have the one half times four, which would be four halves, which is another two miles. We would have 20 and two miles, which is our original 22 miles. This is one way we could have shown our division. There are other ways for sure, but you would each get five and a half miles for each person running this race. This has been Math with Mr. D. Thank you guys for joining me and have a great day.